What's good, YouTube? You already know what it is. It's your boy Triple N, and we're back for another car reaction video. And today we are talking about the Indich theme, the zombies that are going to be dropped. And I forgot the pack. It's like a special pack. I forgot what it's called. Did they, did they tell me? Did they tell me what it is? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I know it's the... I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know what pack uh, this drops in. Um, but, uh... Let's go ahead and talk about it anyway. This is gonna be this is a zombie based theme and it's Eldritch the zombie based theme. I think out of all the zombies, I feel like this deck is going to work weirder than the other archetypes for zombies we've gotten so far. But it might also be one of the best. So let's go ahead and talk about it. I feel like we've talked about this card, but I'm gonna go over it anyway again. Just you know, to remind you guys, you know. But um First, we are, but this is what he looks like. I like him. He's a golden zombie. All right. First, his name is Eldritch the Golden Lord. He is a light zombie. Uh, level 10 with 2,500 attack, 2,800 defense. Um, you can only use the effect of this card's name once per turn. Send this card in one spell slash trap from your hand to the graveyard. Then target one card on the field. Send that card to the graveyard. Its second effect is if this card is in the graveyard, you can send one spell attack you troll to the graveyard, add this card to your hand, then you can switch over one zombie monster from your hand. Also, that monster gains a thousand tank of defense. It cannot be destroyed by card effects at the end of your opponent's turn. Um uh, It's cool that it can switch some of other zombies. It annoys me that it doesn't have a way to switch some of itself. Because, like, I mean, you could use its effect to summon itself, like, another version if you have two of it. But other than that, it really annoys me that it doesn't special summon itself. Because I feel like that's a thing zombies usually... Well, I mean, they, there's a lot of zombie cards that you could do to summon this. It's not like it's hard to summon. It's a zombie card. And, but still, it really annoys me that it does its own special summon itself. Um... I love that. I like it. I like that it sends cards to the grave. I like that it can send a card to the graveyard, but it doesn't like it targets. So that kind of annoys me as well. But it sends instead of destroys. So that's a plus. Um, but let's talk about the next card. And the next card is a continuous spell card. I like the artwork of that. I'm surprised it's not a field spell. It looks like a damn castle. Cursed El Dorlando. Dor I was about to say Dorado. Jesus. Spells is a continuous spell. You can only use this card's name, second and third effect once a turn. First effect, you cannot attack mo with monsters except with zombie monsters. If you're playing zombies, you usually only play in zombies anyway. But you never know. Some people, you know, they do the whole zombies tournaments with dragon, a whole bunch of like arc, like XYZ synchro and all them plays. So. Um, I guess you can play. Uh, what's that field spell? Zombie World? You can probably play Zombie World with this or something. Um, second effect, you could play 800 life points, add one Eldritch monster or one Golden Land spell slash trap from your deck to your hand. So I'm assuming... Okay. And it's third effect. If this card sits from the spell and trap zone... To the graveyard, you can send one Eldritch monster or one Golden Land spell trap from your deck to the hand. I mean, to the deck to the graveyard. So it lets you send stuff to the graveyard um, when it's destroyed, and then you can pay life points to add stuff, Eldritch stuff or Gold Land stuff. Okay. So it's it's a it's a search it's a sender and a searcher. So you know where your stuff is. Next card is El Eldlixer of Black Awakening. It is a normal spell card. Um, you can only active. You can 
only use either this card's first or second effect per turn, and only that turn. Um, special summon one zombie monster from your hand or deck in defense position. If you do not control an Eldritch monster, you can only special summon an Eldritch monster with this effect. For the rest of this turn, after this card's resolved, you cannot special summon monsters except zombie monsters, which that's not a problem because you're probably only going to play zombie monsters anyway. You can banish this card from your graveyard, set one gold land speller trap. Directly from your deck to your hand. Um, trying to figure out what these gold land. I don't know if all this are like all the spell cards called gold land or something. So, <clears throat> so you can either set a card or special summon a zombie. So I guess you could use this to summon the big gold dude. So that's lit. Um, the next card is a quick play spell. Interesting. It is known as Elixir of White Fate. It's a quick play spell. You can only use either cards. This use either this card's first or second effect once per turn. And you can only use that once that turn. Oh, okay, it's separated. That's weird. Special summon one zombie monster from your hand or Graveyard in defense position. If you do not control an Eldritch monster, you can only special summon an Eldritch monster with this effect. For the rest of this turn, either this card is ours. You cannot special summon monsters except zombie monsters. So you can summon other zombies, but you have to have an Eldritch monster. Because if you don't have an Eldritch monster, you have to summon. Okay. So that's that's the. Okay. And then the second effect, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Set one gold land spell trap from directly from your deck to, your, uh, deck to the field. So they have a lot of abilities that let you set these cards. Um, and then. If you have an Eldritch, you can summon other zombies. So try to have that Eldritch so you don't have to continue to just summon Eldritch monsters. Um, the next card is a trap card. And it is called Eld Elixir of Red Splatter. I think all of this is going to be like Gold of Red Splatter or something like that. I don't know. Because everything always says Gold Land. So I'm assuming a lot of these... Either something's going to get changed to Gold Land or something. I don't know. But, um, you can only use either of this card's name first or second effect per turn and only once that turn. First effect for summon one zombie monster from your deck or graveyard in defense position. If you do not control the Eldest Monster, you can only special summon an Eldest Monster. Like I said, try to make sure you have that Eldest Monster so you can summon other zombies if you're going to play other zombies. You can banish this card from your graveyard, set one gold land spell trap direct for a while from your deck to your field. They all have that basic effect of setting gold stuff, gold land cards. Next, um, we have Guardian of Goldland, so I'm feeling like this is going to become like a trap monster. Um, you can only use this card's name first, second effect, uh, once turn. Special summon this card from your monster zone as a normal monster, Zombie Light, level 8, 800 attack, 2500 defense. This card is still treated as a trap card. Then, if you control an Eldritch Gold, the Gold Lord, you can make one face up monsters attack zero. During the end phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard, set one Eldritch spell trap directly from your deck to your field. Hawker of the Goldland, tra continuous trap. You can only use this card's name first or second effect. Once per turn, especially summon this card as monsters from as a normal monster. This is zombie light level five, attack eighteen hundred, defense fifteen hundred. This is still treated as a trap card. Then, if you control Elders to Gold Lord, you can banish one card from either graveyard. So you can dead get rid of cards from grave. That's actually nice. Um, second effect during the end phase, you can banish this card from your graveyard. Set one elixir spell flash trap directly from your deck to your field. So that's cool. So they have elixir cards and they have the golden cards. So this is one of the gold lands. So I was trying to figure out what the heck the gold lands. So the gold lands are like these trap monsters, and then the elixirs are the okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. So. Con Conquistador. I like that. Conquist so the next card is Conquistador. The, the gold land. It's a continuous trap. You can only use it to first to second effect. Once per turn. So I summon this card. The monster zone is a normal monster. Zombie light level 5. Attack is 500. Defense is 1800. Then if you control 
Ellis to go lower. You can show one face up card. So that's cool. And during the end phase, you can bench the Harvey Gary set, the elixir. So let's try Derek Gibson. Like I said, so the gold, the gold, the gold lance set the elixirs, the elixir sets the gold lance. So this is going to be more of a trap monster deck, if anything, because you get your big dude out and then you start summoning these and you can get really like some interesting effects. So that's actually kind of cool. The Everglorious Gold Land it is a counter trap. Um, you can only activate one card with this card's name per turn. When a spell, a trap, or a monster effect is activated, you can contr and you control an Eldritch monster, tribute one zombie monster, to gate the effect if you do destroy it. So it's just a basic counter trap for most normal decks, so that's actually kind of cool. The next card is Eldor Aldolando is a normal trap. You can only activate this first card of this card's name once turn. If you control an Eldridge monster, activate one of these effects. Shuffle three of your banish elixir spell traps with different names into the deck. And if you do destroy all cards you're on the field, oh my god. Shuffle three of your banished gold land spell traps with deck. And if you do half your opponent's life points, then your life points equal to the amount of your opponent lost. It's a basic, it's an interesting card. It's it's okay. You play it if you are, if you play it if you don't. Go to but uh, but that's uh, that's really cool. I like this. Crap. I like this deck. It's actually a really cool for a dark deck. I can't wait for it to drop. But y'all already know. Let me know in the comments how you all feel about this. I'm gonna go. There's people being loud. But that's the end of the video. Peace.